Okay, um, here is the uh, switch with a, a, a tiny 85 here, that's the little board. And uh, using only one channel on the receiver, yeah, only one channel, only one wire, the other is the battery. I can control four outputs on the switch here with only one channel. So you, every channel is powered by, every output is powered by its own battery here. You can see one, two, three, and four. This one powers this one. This one powers the light bulb. This one powers this one here. And this one powers these uh, LED, those LEDs here. Okay, I can show you now. This is my radio. This is the best radio in the world. <laughs> and uh, I start turning switches on. So, output one. That's on the on the rudder switch. Output two on the elevator switch. That's the red LEDs there. On the aileron switch, that's that little LED there, powered by the, the four NIMS battery pack. And then the last one, which is the gear switch, powers the light bulb pulsing. The programming for the pulsing is done in the radio, obviously. So now let's do a party, let's have a party here and turn everything on. So, got all four outputs working now. It's great. All from one single channel on the receiver. You can turn all together, just a few. I start turning off things here. Just leave the light bulb on, for example, and power that small one, or turn the light bulb off and power the other flashing LEDs. And light bulb and the red LEDs. This is absolutely fantastic. This is only one channel in the receiver. This is with a tiny 85, this little board, and four MOSFETs. And uh, with an Arduino, you can at least have one more uh, output, at least. Of course, all the information will be available in openrcforums.com so if you want to find out how I built this just go to openrcforums.com and check it out